All right, YouTube. I'm just out for a cruise. I uh, just got done doing. I just got done uh, doing some mail videos, and I think uh, I think I'm just, just going to take a little schmoozy, a schmoozy cruisy home. Not really going anywhere in particular. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. So, I figure let's do a little cruise. I'm going to take a different way home. I'm going to go through here. Got a little time to burn before the kids are ready to get picked up and I don't have any topics to chat about. I watched a video with uh, Bodine, he, Bodine 52 and he uh, got some new ape hangers on his, uh, his motorcycle and his hands are about up to like here I think somewhere around there his hands are like, kind of like this now <laughs> his hands are like in the wind <laughs> and there's Bodhi right now he's holding on to the ball he's like this man like oh man got my music going <laughs> boys <laughs> Bob I love you brother I'm just playing around but uh you know I, I uh I'm surprised actually no one really picked up on that. And maybe he probably did but didn't really say anything. But I took my I took my apes off and put my Royal Star Deluxe bars back on. And I put those on a little before the before the trip to West Virginia. And uh, and it's weird, you know, I, I was having issues with them when I first got them. And then now I got these and I, I put them back on and it's like the first position I put them in I was like okay uh, these are good you know it was kind of awkward I didn't really realize that I didn't like move them up and down and like I did before trying to find the right position it was like I just put them in a position and called it a day you know but, I guess I'm not going fast enough for him. Speed limit's 55 and I'm doing 50. So, I don't know. Whatever. I was gonna kind of let him go, but it can't be nice to everybody, right? Except for Bob. You gotta be nice to Bob. Always remember that. Anyhow, riding through the uh, Hudson Valley right now, I am not too far from New Paltz. I'm actually going to end up going through New Paltz. And I'm not really exactly sure what I'm going to be doing then. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I switched back to the RSTDs. And I don't know. I've just been cool with them. I wasn't unhappy with the mini apes I had. They were cool. They weren't bad. You know, but uh, I think these are a little more relaxing. But uh, yeah, so Bob got the new bars on there. Uh, clockwork, clockwork mod bars. Clockwork mini apes. Some really nice bars too. Clockwork makes some nice bars, and they give you decent pullback. And if you don't know, pullback is the amount that the bars come back to you so they give you some decent pullback with them which, which helps to keep the bars decently comfortable so and it seems that he's really happy with them which is good because uh, it's, it's rough to install or do such an install and then not be happy with them you know because then you got to sit there and take everything off and put everything back on and bolt it all back up and it's just, it could just be a little bit annoying, just a little bit, just a tad, not a lot, but just a tad. So it's uh, 
I'm glad he's happy with them. Change this front view. Pull in here real quick. Let's change this view real quick for you. Give you a little something different to look at. We'll be right back. So, uh, looking at my phone today, and I see an article that comes up and it says how Harley Davidson is their uh, financial gains are down by a certain amount and they're not going to make uh, the amount of likes that they were intended to and, and, and Harley's this and, and, and I mean I'm like you know I don't know I'm just like what's the big deal you know what they had a profit okay isn't that isn't that good you're not happy for them? They had a profit. You know, they, they... Yeah, the profit may not be what they thought it would be, but it's still a profit. You know, believe it or not, you really do need companies like Harley-Davidson and Indian to stay in business. Because if those two companies go, hey, the cruiser market is done. I mean, you look at companies like Yamaha and Kawasaki and Suzuki, I mean, they're, they're not really making new cruisers. They're just promoting the old ones that they have. I mean, except for Yamaha, where they got the new venture. And that's not really a cruiser. That's more of a cross-country touring bike. Um, the Eloder, probably, they would consider that a little more of a cruiser style even though it still would fit into that cross-country touring because it, it does have a lot of cre creature country oh my god a lot of uh, creature comforts so but um yeah i don't know you know sometimes when i see articles like that i kind of just laugh and listen i'm i'm no i'm no harley junkie or anything and i don't follow a lot of these articles and read them and lose my mind with them. This is my bike shop right here, Bicycle Dive Depot. Well, it's not my bike shop, but it's their bike shop. But I like to go there because they do good work and they're really nice people, really friendly. It's like a nice multicolored street glide. Um, yeah, they're really nice people and they do good work. Anyhow, uh, right here I wasn't gonna make it right but I kind of I kind of don't want to go through the city the town the city of our new pulse really care for that too tough anyhow so uh, ooh, I don't know um, really how I feel about that you know, they say, oh, they're in trouble, they're, 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 oh, some articles will say, oh, they're in trouble, and their financial gains aren't what they're supposed to be, but, you know, they still, they're still coming out with new bikes, and they're still changing designs, and they're doing, hey, they're, they're making moves, and that's a good thing for them, and maybe they should be making a little bit more articles, uh, promoting those things, and, Put a cell phone in there so that the millennials will see it and they'll want to go buy some of those bikes. <laughs> ah, because they're not buying bikes. They're buying cell phones. That's what they're buying. That's what they're loving nowadays. Cell phones, not bikes. Let's not get it twisted, people. They got New Paltz College over here on the left-hand side. They actually have a really nice uh, planetarium in there. And we took the kids there. I'm hoping I'm calling it by the right name. But... We took the kids there one time, uh, and it, you go inside, and it's just huge, and then they just light it up with the, did a little movie, and then they do their little stars thing. It was really nice. It was really nice, something to check out. They do it every now and again. You have to kind of uh, 
uh, maybe call up or check on their website to see what the dates are. So that's something to think of. Anyway, I've kept you guys long enough. I thought of another vlog and I'm going to start that one. So I'll see you guys later. It's the best one of you out. Bye.